the law of sin. Amen. 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 Be seated and Amen. Thank you all for standing in respect and reverence for the word of God. Amen. Amen. This letter, the book of Romans, is written by the Apostle Paul. Paul alone, he had a desire, a passion, a tribe. Once he had that encounter with Jesus on that Damascus Road, he wanted to make it to Rome, which was the epicenter of activity. Rome was a vibrant city. There was all kinds of things to do in Rome. They had many temples, many belief systems, many faiths, people from all over the world come to Rome. That's right. Paul's desire was to get to Rome. Unfortunately, when Paul made it, he was a prisoner. Mm -hmm. He was locked up. He was in jail. But he, he penned this letter to the Romans. And, it, and, and he began telling them how far man had failed. He said, We're not, we're without excuse in chapter one. Mm -hmm. He said, Man, we're without excuse. God has shown us himself Amen. from the beginning of creation. That's right. And we're without excuse when it comes to worshiping and praising. Because without him, nothing was made. There is nothing. So Paul gets to chapter 7, and he reminds us that just because we're saved does not mean we're sinless. Oh, yeah. Just because we're saved does not mean we're made perfect instantly. There was only one perfect person, and that is Jesus the Christ. The scripture declares that we are transformed by the renewing of our mind. We are changed into perfection. Which ultimately will come when we receive our glorified body. Which doesn't happen until we are caught up, if you will. The scripture declares the rapture. Leaving them in the sky. Yes, yes. Then we'll be changed in the twinkling of an eye. Amen. To our glorified perfect body. But as long as we reside in these earthly bodies, yeah. we're going to have issues. Yeah. 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 We, we will forever sin. See, we will forever sin. Now, there are sins that are willful sins. That's right. All right, all right. And there are sins that are committed by omission. Bring it down for you. You know, but as long as we're on this earth, in this body, we will continue to sin. And my own reminder that the Apostle Paul, one of the greatest preachers and ministers to ever walk the face of the earth, is a right in scripture. I remind you, pray three times mm -hmm. for God to remove the thorn in his flesh. Yeah. He said that I might minister to right, right. Now, the, the scriptures don't tell us what the thorn is. I like to always think of it as sin. Because Sin is something that it pricks us, it hurts us, it's on our side, and it, it, it hinders us, yeah. we think, from being able to serve mm -hmm. and give us for God. But God's response to Paul was, my grace is sufficient. That's right. I'm not taking it away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there are things, young people, older season saints, that God has chosen not to remove from us. That's right. That's right. Right. To keep us humble enough mm -hmm. to hit our knees and say thank you. Thank you. Right, right. Amen. 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 And here in chapter 7, Paul breaks it down. He gives us a little more detail into what it is he's talking about. He says, For well, we know that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal, sold as a sin. The law is spiritual. God created the law, it is spiritual. It deals with things of the spirit because the flesh has to return to the earth. Mm -hmm. See, and once we are translated into the spiritual realm, then what we have to be done is we have to be bought back. Mm -hmm. And that was Jesus' whole reason for coming. That's right. He purchased us. Yeah. He bought us back. Oh. And we were so good to see it. But when Jesus came to fulfill the law, yeah, yeah. he redeemed us. Yeah. He said, That's right. he brought us back, he redeemed yes, us. Right. He came and punched our ticket. I'm taking them with me. Mm. So here Paul begins to explain to us what it is that we deal with on a daily basis within this physical and spiritual body. Because we know that we are not just flesh and blood. We are spirit. He said, God said he created us in his own image. Like yes. God is spirit. 
Those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in and truth. truth. Amen. Come on. True. In the end report he requires, he said. In the book of Psalms, he said, I require, you require truth in the end report. And so this is what we're dealing with here. He says, in 15, he said, for that which I do, I allow not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For what I would, that do I not. But what I hate, that I do. Father, the evil that I hate, that I do. The good that I would do, I do not. Even though I desire for what I want to do, yeah, I, yeah. I can't do it. The evil that I don't want to do, I keep doing. Mm. I keep doing. Yeah. Why? Why? He said, like, if, if then I do that which I would not, I consider to the law that it is good. So we we, we can understand and we can agree that the law is good. Yes. God made the law. Amen. Everything God made is good. Amen. All right. So now if I'm agreeing with the law that is good and I find myself in sin, then what do I do? Amen. Do I stop coming to church? No. No. <laughs> do I stop calling on his name? My Lord. Do I stop praising him? Even though I continue to say, has God stopped blessing me? Yes, yes. My eyes open this morning. Amen, amen. I wasn't perfect all, all day yesterday, but he still woke me up this morning. All right, amen. See, there's another chance to get it right. Yes, yes. To get it right. But Paul here is helping us to understand that there's a war within him. There's a war within him. There's a war within. My spirit is born with my flesh. Mm. He says, it's not I that's doing it, sin that dwelleth in me. Mm -hmm. He said, evil is present with me. So that means when, when we walk out of these doors and go to our home, go to our jobs, wherever we go, evil is right there with us. We didn't, we didn't leave him in the cemetery. We didn't leave him here in the sanctuary. Evil walks with us every day, yeah. everywhere we go. Yeah. And the scripture declares waiting on the case in the previous verses. If you look at verse 11, it says, For sin and taking occasion by the commandment to seize me and by it slew me. Sin takes every opportunity, every opportunity it can to catch us off guard. You see? That's why the scripture declares we should be diligent. Pray without ceasing. Yes. Yeah. See? And when we consider ourselves, it should be easy to pray without ceasing. Amen. 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 How, many, how, how many of us? How many of us? Always speak with milk and honey mm. on our job. Well. Yeah. In the past, mm. somebody that you know did a wrong, or, or you feel like it, it wasn't dog, right, dog, dog. or they might be just trying. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, God bless. Amen. 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 I'm not that one yet. I'm sorry. I'm still trying. I'm gonna tell the truth. <laughs> you can work it out, me. As best as I try, mm. <laughs> it's still coming. My Lord, but I can't give up. Amen. Right, because right. See, Paul helped me understand. Uh -huh. Evil is present with me. Oh, see, oh, evil will uh, always take that chance to jump out and pray. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, see, yes. so man who looks at the outward appearance, uh -huh. yeah, to tear it down. But the Bible declares God looks at the heart. That's yeah. right. Yeah. He yeah. said, if your heart is pure, mm -hmm. if your heart is right, yeah. if you keep malice out of your heart, hatred out of your heart, envy, see. I need a heart. These are the things that I, I can I can work with. All right. See, and I work with that. We, we want to talk about somebody drinking a little alcohol, or they mm. might smoke this, or they might smoke that, or they, whatever they might do in the physical. Mm -hmm. God is concerned with the spirit. Oh, the scripture declares in Colossians, He said, "Those things pass away with the youth." Man, so you don't worry about that. See, as you get older, we start getting great like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All this stuff ain't going to go nowhere. 
But if your heart ain't right in here, it don't matter whether you stop there or not. You're not going to make it. That's right. I'm not going to make it. Because God said, He is love. Yes. And I got to love. Yes. See? So I got to learn how not to turn evil for evil. Yes. See? I got to learn how to not, you know, cuss somebody out. Oh. When I feel like they done done me wrong, Amen. you know I got to learn how to step back and say, "Okay, God, the battle is not mine; it's yours." Yeah. Right. Go ahead, preacher. Join it, join it. I don't have to always try to stand up for me. Yeah. Yeah. God said, "You mine. I created you. I got you. Right. right. I got you." See, He said, "I will defend you. I will fight your battle. Right. I will. What I want you to do is lift me up, my Lord." Tell the people about it. Mm -hmm. see? And so Paul here, he gives us a great example of uh, what goes on in the life of believers. And again, early on believers, you come in, you get excited, you, you ready to work for God and, and serve the Lord, get to the church. Not everybody is acting like a slave. Yeah, yeah. In the church. Mm -hmm. yeah. I ain't talking about outside the church, I'm talking they about in the church. Yeah. 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 In the church. Mm -hmm. In the hmm. Room number slide over, room number slide over. Let them come in and sit down. Yeah, look at that crazy. Yeah. This is my seat. Yeah. God has to pick it up. Everybody got to see it. Ain't no assigned seats in God's house. Because so we don't know where he wants us to work. Yeah. Right. <laughs> come on. See, if we it. stay in one place too long, we ain't, we ain't working. Yeah. If we get comfortable, uh -huh. we get comfortable. Oh, oh. Amen. Amen. So, Amen. so the Bible is saying we got to get past ourselves. Oh, See, so we got to get past ourselves. The scripture says that men are not think too highly of themselves. Oh, yeah, think of it. Yeah, not not all think too highly of themselves because in reality, these are filled the rain. Yeah, yeah. And I ain't talking about the total. No, 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 no. Yeah. Yes, man. Yeah. The flesh. The Bible just said, he said, in my flesh is no good thing. Yeah. That's in the book. No good thing. So I got to know that. In this flesh, there is no good thing. Yeah. Yeah. The good thing is in the spirit. Yeah. When God created, this is going back to the dust. Mm -hmm. So I have to be mindful of it. And yeah. here is no good thing, and I'm always vigilant. We have to be vigilant in knowing that we can we can commit a, a sin at any time. Amen. Anytime. Anytime. We can walk out of, out of here today out the shining glory and hallelujah of God and commit a sin. Right now on the corner. Like Amen. We ain't got to go a block from here <laughs> as soon as we step down the steps. Right. Uh -huh. Without the devil. You know what I'm saying? Because uh -huh. we don't control those. Amen. We don't control those things. Amen. They just pop in. Amen. Scripture tells us we got to learn how to take them into captivity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? Take them thoughts into captivity. Amen. He said, but in this place, I know there is no good thing. And for me, but the will is present with me, but how to perform that which is good, I find not. And that is verse 18. Amen. He said, so the desire to do it is there. I want to do good. I, I, I try my best to do good. He's like, but the ability to do it, I can't find. So how do we want to do good? How do we want to do good? Through the power of God. Mm -hmm. See, alone we can do nothing. That's what the scripture says. Say, apart from him, you can do nothing. You are the vine. When he is the vine, you are the branch. He said, apart from him, we can do nothing. So apart from God, we can't do anything. That's right. But with him, even though evil is present with us, we can accomplish good. And that's why the glory goes to God. Because in us, there is no good thing. We don't know how to do good. We think we do. But the glory is always for God. He said, now if I do that, I would not. It is no more I that do it, but sin that dwells in me. Right now, we're going to deal with that. He said, now, if I do sin, it's not me no more. It's the sin that's present in me. But 
when he was right there with the sin in me, the sinner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how is it not me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sound like a conversation. Sound like a conversation, though. But I declare that, that God's word is true. Man. God makes no right, mistake. Right. Uh -huh. So how is that so? He said. The will to do or the, the act of doing the good comes from God. It is his power. Amen. God does everything. Think about it. He came down from heaven, wrapped himself in human flesh. And this is the key. Inside, we know we, we have our spirit. Right. The animal man desires and delights in the law of God. What God says in his word makes sense to us, it's good to us. We love it, we delight in it, but we still have the physical realm to deal with. Amen. So, not, so no matter how good we feel in the spirit, Satan has people outside. Amen. <laughs> and their whole drive and determination and desire is to bring not only us down as believers, but the entire world. And so we encounter these people on the daily basis. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, we encounter these people. They don't have a desire to, to see the face of God, to, to know what the Lord has said. They don't, they don't care nothing about it. But in our inner self, we do. It's as though I see another law in 23 in my members warring against the law of my mind and bringing me into the captivity of the law, to the law of sin, which is in my members. A wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death. I thank God for Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So, Amen. the light of the law, we find that the law in our member, in our physical body, is war. I want to do good, I don't want to do good. My flesh is putting me this way, my spirit is putting me that way. The more we delight in love of oh God on the inward man, he will continue to change us and, 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 and create in us that newness of life. But if you look here in the first verse of chapter 8, he says, There is therefore now no contradiction to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. It is our time to always remember that we walk after the spirit and not after the flesh. So when our flesh rises up and, 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 and says, you know, say something that's not too nice to that person, <laughs> we ought to be walking in the flesh. I mean, in the spirit. I know I'm in the <laughs> you know, but um, Amen. Amen. It, it's, uh, it's a wonderful thing to, uh, to be in this position. Amen. Amen. It's a wonderful thing to know that God is such a God that even in spite of my shortcomings, my failures, my flaws, and my fault, He's able to use me. It's amazing that God still has a twinkle in His eye for such a wretched man as I am. Mm. Man. You know, Paul records the scripture, he says, He is the chief of sinners. And I took that from I like to use that. But he has to remind me. Never to get beside myself. Never to get too big in. You know, that evil is always present with me. And at any time, I can fall out of the good grace and glory Amen. of God. But he sent Jesus to redeem. He also told me the word that he was forgiven He's a loving God. And so my God tells me that there is no condemnation. Because walking out of the flesh renews our spirit. Amen? Amen. Amen. So again, to the young people, I, I, I was blessed by what y'all did. I encourage y'all to keep, keep it walking up. with the Lord. Amen. No matter what comes up in your life. Amen. Don't ever forget. There's a war going on inside you. Flesh, spirit. Lean more to the spirit, less to the flesh. Amen. You'll be alright. Amen. Amen. Amen.